Good morning, everyone. Bethany here, your clean eating coach. And today we are starting a series on learning to read nutrition labels. I'm really excited to do this with you guys because I know how empowered I've been and felt when I really learned what to do with the nutrition facts on packages of food, uh, what to do with calories, protein, grams, sugar, all of those pieces that I didn't really understand. Understanding nutrition labels will really empower you to eat a more healthy diet. So let's jump in. We'll just go from top to bottom, okay? So this is actually a pack of granola cereal. So where you start here at the top is your serving size. And this is a really big one because uh, I've got a drink here, coconut water. Have you ever picked up a, a Coca-Cola or a juice or something that even may have been relatively healthy and you went on the back and said, oh, it's only 60 calories, that's really good. Okay, but what you really need to focus on first is how many servings are in this container. And this one says there are four servings in this. So if you think that this whole thing is 60 calories and all these are for the entire thing, you're actually not understanding what's true. So it's really important to first identify what is actually a serving size. So again, this is four different servings, okay? If you look down here, we'll get to this in a second, but the sugar count is 10. If you think this whole thing only has 10 grams of sugar, you're wrong. The whole thing has 40 grams of sugar, which is less than a Coke, but close. <laughs> now granted, this is still healthier than drinking a soda. Anyway, okay, so serving size matters. Number two, looking at the calories. Calories equal energy. You need calories to survive. I know calories are demonized, but you can't survive without calories, okay? Um, but it's good to notice how many calories are in a thing. So this is a, an example I honestly hate to share, but when you go into a restaurant, uh, a lot of times menus will, I, I'm glad now, they include the calorie amount of the items you're buying. So like in the dessert menu, I like to look at the dessert menu because there's so many yummy ones. And I was looking at uh, a cheesecake dessert once or um, maybe like a chocolate chip cookie, um, pazuki or something. And pretty sure the calorie count was a thousand or more. And I looked at my husband and said, if we're gonna get this, we have to share it because this is insane. So one thing to remember is that um, on uh, Nutrition Facts, they're, they're predicting all of these percentages based on the average calorie intake per day, which is 2000. Um, for me, based on my gender, weight, activity level, I usually need about 15 to 1700 calories a day. And if I'm more active that day, of course, I need more calories in order to give me the energy I need. Um, but think about it. If you eat one dessert with a thousand calories, you've technically eaten half the calories your body is supposed to take in for the whole day. And let me tell you, that dessert is not going to be enough for you for half the day. Keep that in mind. 